Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another What Are You Going To Make With That video. And if you're like me and you have a workshop with, with several power tools in it with uh, vacuum attachment points on them, you know that you'll never find a vacuum hose or an adapter that will fit that attachment point as you can see here on my uh, chop saw. So we're going to make probably one of the simplest 3D objects and, and 3D prints that I've ever done and allow me to easily connect my vacuum cleaner in the workshop up to any power tool because what I'll do is make the CAD so I can adjust it easily and print a number of these so I can connect all my power tools up to a vacuum cleaner and cut down on the mess in the workshop and the amount of tidy up I have to do between jobs. Do. There we go, one vacuum cleaner attachment on the circular saw and they'll be making a few more of these for various items around the workshop but very simple, very effective, more importantly everything now fits properly. So um, I'm going to step over onto the Fusion 360 part of the tutorial after the credits just coming up so uh, if you want to join me to show how I made this on Fusion 360 then by all means do so otherwise thanks for watching so far and uh, I'll see you on the next video Okay, welcome back and uh, let's start with the Fusion 360 CAD and uh, how we create our vacuum adapter. So it's going to be very easy. Uh, so we'll start with a sketch and we'll just start with the normal plane. So we're building up in the Z and all we really need here is some concentric circles. So let's start with one right on the origin point there. And we know that the diameter of our vacuum hose going to the cleaner is 32 mil, but we'll put an extra half a mil for tolerance. So 32.5 diameter. We then need another one, which is going to be 42.5 mil, which is the diameter of the hose attachment point on the circular saw. So we've got that one. Uh, now we're obviously going to need some thickness to the walls and uh, I'll opt for two mil, I think. So what we need is then we need another circle, which is going to be 34.5. There we go. That's two mil. In fact, let's do a, let's do something different here. Let's make that D1, which is the diameter of the uh, hose attachment on the hoover on the vacuum cleaner so we can go d1 plus 3 which will give us 3 mil so whatever we make that this dimension is now going to be 3 mil larger and we'll do the same for the other one and now that's d2 so d2 plus 3 if I can stop my mouse from wiping that off there we go, D2 plus 3 gives us that. So essentially what we've got there now, no matter what I attach this to, I can change this dimension here and the wall thickness will adjust accordingly. So we'll try that now. So 44 and it's changed to 47. So there you go. 42.5. So we get some more parametric attributes if you like to this diagram uh, that should be pretty much it so we can stop the sketch and really it's just a case now of extruding parts so let's take that and 
press pull now if I put that at 50 mil down so minus 50 mm, that's probably a bit large actually let's uh, make that minus 40 there we go and then if we extrude the other wall up and we'll do that 40 mil okay and then we need to extrude up that and that to give us an overlap now let's have an overlap of 10 mil that should do that should be plenty strong enough there so we'll go up 10 mil and all these operations here are joined now so let's join there and there's our hose adapter very simple now what we could do is we could put a fillet here and a fillet here and I think we'll do that press F make that one mil and then F again make that one millimeter actually let's make that yeah, three mil looks better, and I'm going to adjust that one to also three mil. No, that's too much. Okay. Well, it's not too much. It's fine. <laughs> but the two are blending into each other. So if I do three mil there, uh, two mil there, and actually I'll do this one two mil as well. Um, now I will have to be careful if I make other adapters then uh, I'll probably need to make the dimension changes uh, on the adapter itself and then just so it makes it easier to print without an enormous overhang so let's just move that there and we'll go for a three actually we'll go for more than that Let's go for a four. There you go. That should do. And because that's not such an abrupt overhang, the printer will have a much better time printing that out. Right. Let's try that again. Make body. Click on OK. So save that to a file. So it's uh, and I've already made some of these. So this one's chop saw to vac. And we'll save the project as well. And that's ready now to transfer over to our Octoprint and get printing, which you've already seen. So uh, as ever, thanks for watching this video. It's probably one of the simplest uh, objects, but I'll tell you what, it's most useful because vacuum manufacturers never, ever, ever uh, allow you to stick attachments from one vacuum uh, to another even within the same manufacturer because they just want to keep selling you those things. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.